Okay, so this is a quick video just to document the timing marks before the timing cover goes on. This covers my butt and it gives the customer a piece of time. A piece of mind, not time. So anyways, here we have... If I can get a good spot to put this camera. Here we have the gold mark lining up with the little dot underneath. And the gold mark lining up with the line... So that lines up with that, and then if I can get the phone in here, you have that EX and the little dot lining up with the other dot across from it. Those two dots straight across from each other. Step back to where you can see the whole thing. So there you go, you got your two dots cross from each other and then you got your gold marks on the chain with the dot up top and with the line on the top of the other one this is your variable valve timing uh intake cam and that's your regular exhaust cam um you can see the new guides there is no tensioner on it yet um if i come down to the bottom You want that keyway to line up with that dot up top. This keyway with that dot back there. And then over here, you want this dot to line up with the gold mark there on the side. The threads inside there are nice and clean, no gunk. And like I said, we don't have um a tensioner installed on it yet but it'll go at the top there so that's why let's see if i can reach my hand in here that's why the the chain is still loose the tensioner needs to tension that and uh you have the uh f facing up for the crank sensor okay there's that installed got all the bolts tight <laughs> So now all that's left to do is uh, install the timing cover back on, put the water pump back on, alternator, um, thermostat, and get everything else installed here. Um, before I put the thermostat in, we're going to chop this little peg off of it to allow for straight flow without that peg causing interference there. And um, got the timing cover and the valve cover painted and ready to go. They both look beautiful. Valve cover is all painted up. Timing cover is painted and ready to go. And it's got a brand new seal on it on the bottom. I uh, taped up the original label on there and didn't want to paint over that. So pulled the tape off. It's a little old and faded, but at least it's still there. Yeah, so that's ready to go on. That'll look good. Uh, ran out of the glossy paint, but had some flat black paint and painted the crank pulley. So the crank pulley. will sit on that like that and look, look nice. All right, guys. Well, it's just a little video to document timing. Uh, I, I don't have a tripod available right now. My son's hogging it. So I'm going to put the phone down and actually install these parts and get this thing done and out of my garage. But I just wanted to document the timing marks and, uh, everything that was done here. Um, customer peace of mind and covering my butt. Thanks for watching y'all. See you on the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.